Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. My name is Mrs. Ekeke Modesta. I'm here to return all the glory to the God of Censors for what he did for my, my, for my daughter. Last, two, last three years, we spent our, um, this new year in the hospital in UPTH. It happened that my daughter fell from staircase, two-story building, where we visited one Sunday like that. And she broke her front, the tibia and fibia of her feet. The thing developed into chronic osteomyelitis because then I was pregnant and somebody called a traditional bone setter for me. The person, instead of telling me that he doesn't know the work, he was telling me, giving me hope that it will be well. Then after two months, I have to go to the hospital and they were blaming me. I've shared this testimony before in the brand Chahuke. So it happened that the thing became too much, that even me, I was bringing her bone from my daughter's leg. We were going to the hospital. We were admitted for six months. No, the, babe, the pregnancy was six months. We stayed in the hospital for close to one month, almost one month, throughout the January. People that came that first December. Then we are passing through difficulties. We have to relocate to Enugu because they, have, they we are telling me to come to National Orthopedic Enugu here. And I said no because of my children's school and my own work. But the thing was too much. Later, we came. My brother-in-law told me about Sensor's Church. I said, okay, I will come. He said I should come to Ahuke's branch, that this headquarters might be far because we are staying at Ahuke in my mother-in-law's house where we are supporting. Then that day, we were, came, we were um, attending until one day they said that, that the GO, that um, senior pastor will visit. Then I, I prepared my mind. I told God, if really you are using this man of God, I'll be hearing about, please do something that I have suffered. All our money, everything gone. People were mocking me, blaming me that I'm the cause of my daughter's fall. That had it been I did not visit anywhere. Had it been that I stayed at home. And that girl suffered since she felt three, when she was a year and four months. Then that day, people filled everywhere. No space. I was standing on my own. As he was praying uh, one prayer point for people that was looking for the fruit of the womb. I was there praying on my own that brought me. I said, God, please, I want to have an encounter and I want you to do something. Lo and behold, I was shedding tears, praying with all my mind. And I heard a voice that said, why are you crying? I turned, it was him. And I narrated everything. He said, where is the girl? I told him that the girl is in the children's department. Then the usher brought her. He, he prayed for her with water and sang one song that touches my heart. And since that day, I didn't remember again. He said we should go to the hospital, that we will see that healing has begun. Then we went to the hospital. They told us to come in five months' time. They checked the x-ray, the, the test, everything. They were saying her, that, some, that we should come in five months' time. People were telling me five months. Before I know, within one week, the thing started looking as if they were rubbing something special on it. Those bones that opened, gushing out, paused. They said that... And madam, if you have money, go take this care abroad. The antibiotics abroad is the best. Do that surgery abroad. All the money they said about that surgery. Even they said she's a girl, that when she's pregnant, the thing will recover. Everybody say it will recover after surgery upon surgery. I said, no, that God can do this thing. Without me knowing that God was preparing a prophet for me. Do you know that after two weeks, just within a space of two weeks, I was telling my mother-in-law and everybody that, Look at, it's like that prayer. That prayer I've walked to. Look at, look at. Everything covered. Flesh came from nowhere. Flesh covered all the bone that I was pulling out. I was pulling out bone. They said they will remove with surgery. That is dead bone tissues that they, they will operate upon all those pains. God showed me mercy. Even, I don't know what to say. Is somebody still sitting down here watching? Show glory to God. Every time I visit this um, branch, my, because since then I joined Sensor's Church, every time I visit this branch, my mind be telling me, share it here. I said, but I've shared it at Ahuke, but I'll still do it. I don't know what I, I have done to deserve this. It's too much. The miracle is too much. I thank God who showed me mercy, who wiped away my tears, who gave me rest, that I should stop going to hospital every alternate days, every day for dressing, saving money for surgery. God did it, and I believe it's permanent in Jesus' name. He confirmed the words of his servant. 
He has brought it to pass. And God of glory will bring to pass every word of prophecy that has gone out of the mouth of our Father concerning you in the name of Jesus Christ. Did you hear that? I remember her case. That we are blaming her. Because she left the girl at home. But it was a challenge between her and the husband. And she was weeping profusely. And she told me it would have been better that it were my two legs than her. Did you hear that she was pulling out bones from the daughter's leg? You know, God is a surgeon now. All these people that do surgery, where did they learn it from? He's a master surgeon. How can they do surgery more than the one that puts the bone there? Even if there is no light, you can walk into your house and pick anything. You know where things are. Am I talking to somebody here? So even if there is no light, God knows where he kept the bone. And he knows what to do. God works wonders. I don't know what you came for. I have been stirred by the spirit of prayer. Even before I start ministry. Those things you need, you believe God for, to do in your life. Receive the answers in the name of Jesus. I didn't hear a loud amen. Receive these answers in the name of Jesus. Receive these answers in the name of Jesus. I announce it concerning you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let me hear that amen three times.